everybody. Nice to see you again. Today I would like to make another speech about animals in the air. Many animals fly in the air. They fly in the air to stay safe, like small birds try to escape from dogs and cats. They, they fly to find food. Bees fly to collect nectar from flowers to make honey. Owls fly to hunt animals. Many of animals in the air have wings like condors, eagles, pelicans, swallows, chickens. Others can jump into the air like frogs, kangaroos. Almost flying animals have feathers and wings. Small feathers keep them warm and dry. Flight feathers on wings and tail help them fly. <laughs> Some big flying animals have big wings. Some small flying animals have more wings. Small and short wings. Hummingbirds, like hummingbirds, swallows. Bones of flying animals often very light. So they can easy to fly. Do you know the insects that also fly? The first flying animals in the world were insects. Most insects have wings and they can fly. The, the wings grow from their thorax, the middle part of their body. Some insects have two wings. Like fly, mosquito. Some insects have four wings. Butterflies, bee, dragonflies, ladybug. The fastest flying animals are dragonflies. Do you know that bats are mono, not insect? Bats are only mammals that have wings and can fly. Bats have membranes between bones and legs. They use membranes to catch insects like a spider web. Bugs are night animals. They sleep in the day and fly and find food at night. Some animals can jump very high in the air. Some ca kangaroos can jump over three meters high. Springbok gazelles can jump 15 meters far. They also jump straight up in the air. Gibbons can swing between trees about 9 meters. Flying squirrels can't fly, but they can use membranes. 
between their body and like to ride in the air. Some reptiles like snakes can glide too. Frogs and flying fish can also jump out of the water. Now my speech is finished. Bye-bye. Nice to meet you again.